Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me once again as I continue with my Let's Play of Battle Brothers. This is Season 5, and it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for Episode 3. I know, shocking. We are the rookie rooks. Eh, too many R's, too many rolls. It's fine. It's totally fine. Alright, we need to reach Eisenhagen. And once we do so, we will be super duper ridiculously happy. Or dead, depending on what actually happens here. So... We're going to head on out, and we are free, and we are on our way. It's very possible that we will get annihilated, mauled, or murdered by something, possibly anything, or everything on the way there. So we'll have to wait and see what actually comes our way. I think I'd like to stop by Mortam Castle. Oh, wait. After battle. After the battle is over, you can find Adam Cole, Panama Playboy, on his knees, his body swaying back and forth as he nurses a wound. You hear muffled cries in between all two loud moans. Approaching, you ask the man if he is alright. He shakes his head and explains that this was his first taste of real, vicious combat. It was not what he expected, and he isn't sure if he can continue. Suck it up! There is not a soul who, out here who isn't scared. The man looks around him at the bodies, at the land, at the sky. He nods and gets to his feet. Before heading back to camp, he thanks you for your words. Thank you, Captain. I'll be doing a better job of hiding my fears. You nod back with a terse smile before putting your fist to your chest. Bottle it all up right here and don't let anybody else see it. Half of any battle is convincing your opponent that you're crazier than they are. Being fearless is impossible, but faking it from time to time is not. The man nods again and heads back to camp with his head held a little bit higher. All right, plus two resolve. Yeah, Adam Cole. That's a spirit, my brother. That's a that's a spirit. All right, let's check the castle. Not the castle, but the castle. You have to throw the extra T in there. All right, well we're brokeish, but we have a few things that we can all shell off. So we're gonna shell off all of these things. I'd love to buy something amazing, but I don't feel like we're really in a position to do so. Maybe we'll buy a decent shield to start with, and maybe some padded leather. We're about to get a little bit more cash. I'm I'm not sure this is a good play, but we're gonna we're gonna hope that it was. All right, we're gonna go and we're gonna outfit our boys with some padded leather. We got Borgild here, who's like, yeah, give me stuff. Oh, we need to level them up, too. I forgot about that. All right, we'll go with the double axeman, getting a Borgilded up, or leathered up, as it were. And we have a padded surcoat, and we have a gambeson. Apparently, the gambeson is better than the padded surcoat. All right, so you also have a gambeson, so you're already set. You guys are archers. You don't need to be set. You have a rugged surcoat. We'll give you the padded one. Why not? Bam, or sorry, the we'll give you the Gambison, rather. Adam Cole, you're fine. Gunther, what do you got, buddy? You got a leather tunic. Welcome to the rugged surcoat of doom. And you, good sir, leather wraps, not enough. We need to get you a padded surcoat. And there you go, buddy. There you go. All right, additionally, who's going to get the shield? I think Borgil, well, actually, you know, Bruben has been kind of a boss. I think he deserves the first shield. He's been pulling out all the stops and making people weep along the way. I think he's definitely earned his right to have that. All right, so we're going to go that route. We're going to sell off this and this. And hopefully have enough oomph to survive long enough to get to the next place. I would like to see who's available to hire. It's Havard the Brave. He is brave, but he's also a vagabond. So take from that what you will. Onward we go to Eisenhagen. And it will be there that we will do much battle and doom and death. I don't I don't think there's doom and death. How much money do we have? Enough for one more day. So hopefully we get paid, uh, well, we get, what, just under 300? Or just under 400, something like that. We'll be okay. We'll make it. Alrighty. Well. Hmm. Alright, the trading caravan is on its way. It is puny. And we could have probably attacked that. I think that's another thing that they could add. I don't know if they plan to. And I don't know if they want to even allow us to. Because, you know, most people are going to be jerks and, and, and douches, as they say. But uh, attacking caravans could be a fun way of getting a little bit of extra cash. But people will probably be pretty unhappy if that were indeed a thing. Hey, look, the deer hunter. He's just a hunter? Yeah. 
He's a hunter with like, why is he so expensive? He must be the most amazing deer hunter ever. All right, we're going to leave that. We're going to take a look at our current emissions. Reach Dulman. We could do that for another decent chunk. We could try raising the Forester's Hideout, or we could reach Thurgau. We're going to try the Forester's Hideout. I will put an end to this as soon as I figure out what it is and if we could. It's slightly weaker. It's a hidden encampment. It's abandoned. Uh, maybe we can handle it. All right, well, let's level up our boys and see if that helps any. All right, so let's go take a peek. Now, I'm going to keep at least one of these guys, probably both of them, as axemen. I really like axes. I think they're an amazing, amazing weapon. So I'm leaning toward doing that, but I'm not 100% certain what I want to do with them. I think I'm still probably going to get one point up in fast adaptation for pretty much anyone. Because I still think it's the best skill out there. And it will definitely improve our well, ability to pretty much do anything that we need to do. Alright, melee skill is definitely going up and so is our shield work. And his HP is a little bit low, so we're going to get that a little bit higher. Okay, I like it. And we're going to go over here and probably do some more 3-2-2 action. We're of course going to get fast adaptation again. I don't worry, I'm not going to go straight down the offensive tree, guys. You do not have to fret. You do not have to worry. Too much, anyway. Alright, I think I may even go down the utility tree with them. I don't know. The defensive tree seems pretty cool, too. I'm not 100% sold either way. Alright, well, we're going to go that route, this route, and... He's got a little bit more HP. We'll still give him more. And then once we get Colossus on him, eventually he will be like, Brah! 100 health! Try me! And it's probably not going to work super well for anyone involved. I'm concerned with slightly weaker forces. Um, we're going to get a little closer. Maybe we can find like another group that we can battle. Or perhaps, I mean, we are here at Eisenhagen. There are troops available. Why don't we grab one or two more? Why don't we try grabbing like another, oops, another ranged unit and see what's available. I would prefer to not be the deer hunter of doom, since he seems to be ridiculously powerful. But I suppose a farmhand wouldn't be terrible. What's this guy? He's a fisherman. Why is he better than the farmhand? We have a mason. A refugee. Eh. Nah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get any of those guys. Again, I know we're sort of brokish. Um, maybe we can go to Guardian's Keep. We'll have to cross through the forest here, which could cause us a lot of issue, but it might be okay. I don't know. There's a trading caravan right there. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's trying to eat it just yet. Which is kind of good. Oh, there are banded ambushers here that are weaker than we are. I wonder if we can't lure them out of the woods here. That would make me pretty happy if they would, like, leave the wooded area. No, well, maybe. Well, I'm just gonna keep following them, guys. Again, you know how I am. I do not like wood battles. Wood battles make me sad. Well, pretty much all the stuff. Oh, he's going into a clearing. No, I'm too slow. Ah, uh, maybe I'm in a clearing. I don't know if he's considered in a clearing, too. Oh, he is. Oh, we nailed it at the perfect opportune time. All right, so there's eight thugs against us. There should be some pretty nice target practice for our boys here. Um, I'm going to move you directly up here and just take a shot on the two-handed weapon user. And we landed it. Beautiful. All right, let's do that again. 27%, not super great. 27% a second time. Nailed it. All right, sirs, your move. All right, so I believe we need another backliner and we need another range. So we actually have our front line all taken care of at this point. So there is that. I'm taking a look at the remaining people. Yeah, I think that's fine. It'll work out. All right, we're going to wait it out. Oops, that's not the wait button. Awkward. Too many different games, guys. Too many different games. But all of them are amazing games. Let's be honest. I do cover a wide range of just, like, phenomenal, phenomenal games. <coughs> Crushed! That didn't actually kill him. I thought it might. I really had my hopes that that might actually kill him, but it did not. All right, well, we have the low ground disadvantage, but we are using the spear, which means it's about even. All right, going to move here and attack. Okay, we got through a little bit there. 
Ooh, big man on campus coming forward, ready to do some work. Oh, that guy made a terrible mistake. I'll be able to take a step up here and crack you upside the noggin. And I think we're going to go here. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, let's try it again, buddy. You got this. You got this. Nope, you don't got it. All right, well, I thought perhaps you had it, but unfortunately, no. 73% we missed? Oh, what is this? It's 57%. Oh, my gosh, we're so unlucky. RNG does not favor us this day, good says. All right. Spicy MC Nico, show him what's what, buddy. 23%. Yeah, give him some, uh, something to worry about now. Let's do this one. 14%. You got this. Nope. Okay. Well, you, you pretended like you had it. Now, you don't have a shield. I'm a little concerned because you're kind of surrounded right now. 14%. Hey, he landed it like a boss. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. That's good. That's cool. Oh, oh, hang in there. You're okay. Very good. Very good. Stab him. Excellent. Let's see if we can't break this guy. Nope. Oh, he's broke. Yes. Okay, he just annihilated himself. This dude's like, all right, I'm the last one who's not a coward. I will man up and do this. And now you're dead. You're not going to man up and do anything. Sorry, buddy. Sorry about your life. All right, you done got stabbed in the face. It was pretty unpleasant for you. And there's only one guy left who's really still standing his ground. And I'm a bit concerned by this, but... <coughs> It might be okay. Alright. I'm not sure what to think here. We're really going to have to land the shot. 26%. Oh, we did it! And he's freaking out! Yes! Well played, boys. Well played. Spicy MC Nico just doing work. Like a crazy person. You are handled. And you're pretty much done too, buddy. Ain't no thug taking us down. Even per Mamsi the meat sack is like, <laughs> whatevs, hit me, I don't care. I'm ready. Give me a broken nose. Give me a black eye. Bring it on. Let's see what you got. Just manned up and handled it. So we got, what, two, four, seven people leveled up off of that? That's pretty good. Uh, not a whole lot to show for it, but eh, still, it's not too bad. All right, we shall leave that. We got some decent experience out of the whole ordeal. We are going to go into our inventory. We're going to... Uh, let's do the repairs first, and then we'll go and we'll deal with the rest later. All right, I think that's good. I think everybody else is okay. Eh, we'll see. All right. To the leveling up. Let's start with our ranged individuals. Again, fast adaptation. I still think we're probably going to lean toward going down the offensive tree with my archers. But everybody else is going to go a different route. And I'm going to also see if I can't figure out a way to encompass two things. And I'll show you which two things here in a second. Just give me a minute here. I'm going to go with three points up in that. Get some more ranged and a little bit more HP. Alright, and then gold strong pillow, the premature executioner, bringing the pain, bringing the damage, bringing the hate. Alright, there's some more ranged, ranged, and HP. Alright, so there's something here, I gotta find it though, you have to forgive me guys, I don't know exactly where it's at, maybe it's over here. You get it? This one. Uh, battle flow. Once per turn, killing an opponent will reduce your current fatigue by 30% of the base maximum fatigue. So I want to get Battle Flow up, and I want to try out Perfect Focus with my Archers. So something along those lines should work out okay-ish. We'll see. So that's going to be my goal. So what I think I might do is get Fast Adaptation, and then possibly go with uh, Sundering Strikes and Executioner. And then I want to get Bullseye, and then after that maybe I'll go down this tree a little bit until I can get that one perk. So I'll need four more points up to get that. We'll see. Something along those lines is the plan. I still think, like I said, guys, I'm probably going to put fast adaptation in all of our uh, all of our kits because it's such a good skill. Uh, yeah, I think I, I really, I really like that skill, guys. Like if they just like upped everybody's percentage by 15%, they could do away with that skill and it would, you know, it wouldn't be as amazing. But eh. Whatevs. Whatever. We'll, we'll handle it. 
All right, we'll go with. I guess it looks like it's gonna be three two two for our boy here. Some three two two action. Don Quixote de la Mancha is here. All right, let's give you the fast adaptation perk as well. And we're gonna go with this, and we're gonna go with this, and we're gonna go with that. So three two two, pretty much for everyone it looks like. Everyone who is not ranged. All right, three. Two, two, excellent. And fast adaptation once again. I realize this is not as effective on people like uh, Adam Cole and Pug because they are not utilizing fast weapons. This is better for people who attack two times per turn. But still, it's not that bad. Because if you miss one time, it's a pretty big loss when you miss with your two-handed weapon. The next time you swing it, you have a 15% better chance. I mean, it's... Eh, eh. Alright, well, you're definitely not the best of the best, good sir, but you're okay. You'll manage. You'll do. You'll do for now. You will probably be replaced, Adam Cole. But for now, the Panama Playboy is here. Gunther, finally, buddy. Let's get you all situated and ready to go. Gunther the Bear. I... Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's your name. Sure is. Alright, and Bam set alrighty well we did that um, they're still slightly weaker we're gonna continue to go up to the Guardian's Keep hopefully we can sell some stuff we have a fair amount of tools I mean not a tremendous amount oh it's weaker now so those level ups did actually help us I would like our crazy wild man to actually lo or not level up but get a little bit more powerful good old uh, permam see the meat stack Sorry, the meat sack. I actually get a little bit better. I was thinking he was like a hamburger. All of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, the meat stack. That sounds delicious. But he's not. Oh, there's no one to hire. That is so disappointing. I'm not going to lie. It's actually really disappointing. All right, I'm going to sell one shield. I know. I know. It makes me cringe, too. All right, we're going to get rid of one of the hats and all of this stuff. All right, it gives us a little bit more money. In fact, we can even buy another set of tools. I wouldn't hate buying one of these. But I feel like if we do, we're going to probably be hindering ourselves. Alright, so here's the current options that we have. I would very much like a crossbow, but I don't know if we're going to find a crossbowman. First off, secondly, I would also like a polearm user. And again, not sure we can find one of those either. So what we're going to do is leave here. We're going to go to Sonneberg. I know it's not really on our list of places to go right away but we can still do it we can still do it we can make it happen and we can probably get something out of it hey there's a trading caravan there and i feel like we're at a decent spot not a great spot but we're already as strong as a as a patrol for a keep so i mean that's kind of impressive i feel like this start has been way better than our last two starts actually our last two starts have been pretty awful this one feels pretty decent. All right, who do we have here? We have Sir Hilmar. Sir Hilmar. That would be actually pretty good. A rat catcher. We have a mason. We have a thief. And we have Dirk the day tailor. Well, I don't want any of you. Sorry. What else do we have? Uh, not a lot of anything, huh? Oh, we could have gotten that even cheaper. All right, I'm going to buy up that, I guess. And maybe some food. We still have a decent amount of cash. Still not tremendous, but a decent amount. All right, well, here's my play then. Here is what I propose. I propose I go back to Eisenhagen. Once I'm at Eisenhagen, theoretically, and I'm not getting attacked or murdered along the way, but once I get to Eisenhagen, I will hire up the farmhand, I think it was. And once I get the farmhand hired, I will be able to give him, if he doesn't already come with a pitchfork, I'll be able to give him a pitchfork. Our second backliner or middle liner, or whatever they're called, um, our polearm users, and then we're going to keep our eyes open for a ranged unit within a reasonable price range. And then we'll have all 12 people, and we'll be able to start growing our group from there. And then again, as time progresses, when we get the cash monies... Ooh, there's a hunting pack out there. I kind of really want to go after them. I don't think we can catch them, though. I think they're probably quite a bit faster than we are. But we'll take a peek. I mean, maybe we get lucky and we find them. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Looks like they ran deeper into the woods. Nope, nope, they did not. 
here they are. They are out in the open. Will they wolf up and fight us? Alright, we are out on open ground. Let's hope we can survive this. I'm... <sighs> Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. I looked over and my recording wasn't recording anymore. I don't know what happened. So, yeah, alright. So I fought the hunting pack. And I won. Almost lost someone. Gone through the bear, almost died. He had, um, I think it was like 45 health damage and 81 armor damage. It wasn't great. I don't know what happened, guys. My recording just randomly stopped. It wasn't that the recording just stopped. I'm sorry. I'm, maybe I'm misrepresenting. OBS crashed. I apologize. So my recording stopped, yes, but it's because OBS crashed. And I didn't realize that it had crashed until after I actually tried to get the recording. Like I'm like, why is this not recording? I'm like spamming the button. It's not working. I clicked on it and it goes, blue. And then it says, OBS has crashed. Would you like to send a report? I'm like, ugh. Anyway, so that was frustrating. This map is actually way, way easier than the last one. Last one had, like, bushes and trees and crap all over the place. So we'll hope that this one goes pretty good. We'll see, though. 33% Spicy MC Nico. Oh, and uh, Spicy MC Nico shot Gunther the Bear once, too. And he got attacked three times. I think he dodged one. So he got attacked twice by a werewolf. It wasn't great, guys. It definitely wasn't great. Aw, well, we were far less accurate this time than we were last. Alright, well, let's get over on to this guy and throw out some hatred and pain and suffering and agony. I was hesitant to throw Perm Mamsi into the fight, but I think I'm going to have to this time around. So, here it is. The fight is coming. Alright, I am also going to attempt to pin this guy in and use my shield to hopefully defend myself. Go take to the high ground here. All right, we dropped him. Excellent. I wasn't sure if that would work. Super happy it did. All right, can we land the 59%? Pug murdered the last werewolf, or the first werewolf last time. And he did good this time. Didn't get through the armor, though, so that's a little bit disappointing. But we still have Brubin coming to do the damage. Oh, and look at that, ladies and gentlemen. He is now officially fleeing. We're going to move here. And I... I don't know, I, I, I suppose we can maybe move here. And then he can maybe move here. He's still within range. I mean, the dude's not going to get away, right? So, I kind of want to move there, but at the same time, I really don't. Alright, so he's going to attack. Hopefully we survive. Oh, we actually completely dodged all of those attacks, which is excellent. All right, we're going for the aim shot here. 25%. Don't hit your own guy. Yeah, good job at not hitting your own guy. 26% from Strong Pillow. Hey, he landed his actual target, which is impressive. 35%. Not really likely that we were going to hit that, but that's okay. Not going to do anything with Permamsi. I think he's pretty weak right now overall. He's the only one that doesn't really have a shield that kind of front lines who doesn't also have, like, ridiculously high armor. That was not the best move I could have made there. It's okay. Alright, he's one step from death. So I'm pretty happy about this. We're going to jump all the way over here. We're going to basically just do a full surround, I think. The full surround is going to be okay. Alright, there we go. And we might be able to finish it with Borgild. Alright. Well, this actually went better than the last time. I do apologize, folks. I Again, I don't know what happened. I have no idea. OBS just crashed. My computer's been doing weird stuff. I ran CC Cleaner the other day because for whatever reason I couldn't figure out where, why, or how the majority of my solid state drive was used up. Like I have Windows on there and I have a few other small things. So maybe it's a 250 gig hard drive. It's maybe maybe 100 gig of it's used, if that. And... I had 18 gig left from the 250 gig, and I'm like, what in the world is going on? And I looked in all the folders and stuff that were there, and obviously there's got to be some hidden folders or something. But bottom line, it, it was almost all used up, and I couldn't figure out where it was being used. So I ran CC Cleaner, it cleaned out a bunch of stuff, but my computer's been running weird since then. Like, uh, when I go into my folders to do the videos and stuff, it like has to, every single time, like redo every single image, whereas before it was just always there. I would open the folder and all the images were there. Now it's like every single image has to load. So my computer's doing some weird stuff. 
I may also run a virus scan. Sorry, guys. I'm getting a little off point here. I apologize. But, yeah. Some weird stuff going on. And, well, there you go. But I, I don't know what the time is now because everything reset. I'm going to still head over to Eisenhagen and then we'll break off the episode once we get there. So that was pretty good. We got an extra fight out of the deal. I kind of wish that I didn't have to... I could have showed you the original fight. I mean, sure, this one went better and I'm all for it going better. But yeah, the other fight wasn't that bad. I mean, one guy almost died. But chances are by the time we actually get into combat again, he would have been pretty close to fully healed. Oh, and the shop is closed too. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to wait for daylight. We're going to do some selling, probably. We don't have a tailor or anything, but we'll wait for daylight. I'll probably do some selling, get rid of the pelts that I just picked up, and then we'll head up and we'll deal with the forester's hideout or hut or whatever this thing is up here. The forester's hideout, and that's going to be our task for the next deal. Also, it's even now as opposed to weaker. So who knows? Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And I will see you again on... Saturday or Sunday, I'm not sure exactly which. Like I said, it's not going to be an everyday thing, but it will still be multiple times a week. I'd say somewhere between three and four times a week. You can look for episodes of Battle Brothers. And this is, again, going to run until Season 6 starts up. And that's going to be with the new patch that they release. And it's all going to be sweet, sweet, nice. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it. Until the next episode, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.